PS5 will be October what? 6th through October. Why? Yo, no way. No way. This is not happening. But ladies and gentlemen, Activision literally drop a massive nuke on the Call of Duty community. Jason Shry is going ahead. Let me just show you this, okay? Drop a thumbs up, subscribe if you're brand new. Sit down if you're standing up and kiss your loved ones goodbye, okay? Ladies and gentlemen, get ready for a disaster. Bloomberg Jason Shry reporting last year was accurate that Treyarch game is set for 2024. And we are hearing that the next Treyarch game is gonna be a Call of Duty uh, Black Ops 2 remake. A lot of people obviously are shaking. A lot of people oh, actually shaking. love seeing that, but however, okay, everybody gather on, okay? That game is set for 2024, with more Modern Warfare 2 for 2023. What changed was that 2023 offering changed to be a full premium game at some point with Sledgehammer game leading. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. And with, with this one, I, I want to pump the brakes real quick because quite frankly, nobody saw this coming. Essentially, if you're sitting back and you're still like Skizzle, I'm a stud muffin, I'm not sure what's happening. I got a video that I want to show you, so definitely drop a thumbs up. But not just that, apparently this year we were supposed to get a DLC for Modern Warfare 2 for $70. And a lot of people saw that they were like, okay, we're we're gonna be getting a second year for content it shouldn't be $70 but uh you know what they're gonna continue to update the game but now however they just changed it and now they are working on a brand new modern warfare game that's hey, yo, what the f that's what's happening ladies and gentlemen you're not gonna believe this we got this video let's actually roll this that video is about ready to go and then suddenly this news dropped about call of duty 2023 how it's going to be its own standalone game with a beta yeah. a campaign and everything else so we're gonna be we already have the beta confirmation bro Bumbaka! beta we know the release date we know about when the game is coming out, we know about the campaign, we know about the world dealer, we know who's uh, making that, and you wanna know who's making that, right? You, you, you wanna, you probably, oh, shit. you oh, probably shit. wanna know that. I might have played that a little bit too early, but ladies and gentlemen, it is Sledgehammer Games, my balls. Oh, shit. I think oh, now shit. it's accurate. We're covering that here at the very beginning of the video, and then jumping into the other video. So call it two videos in one for all intents and purposes. Damn. So well, let's just jump into it, man. This is coming from Tom Henderson, who of course is one of the most credible leakers and industry insiders pretending to the Call of Duty franchise. He has his own website, Insider Gaming, and here we see Call of Duty 2023 will have a beta, campaign early access, and more. So let's just jump into the article. I'm just going to read this verbatim. Like, there is a lot of confusion about Activision's next entry in the Call of Duty franchise as of late, but Insider Gaming has been able to verify with its sources that there will be a fully fledged Call of Duty 2023 title. There it is. There it is. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, how? Why? Why? Modern Warfare 2 was a three-year game, 3,000 devs. They only worked on one Warzone 2 map, and then they took sections, pieces off of that, made the multiplayer, made DMZ from it, even made that campaign from it. I mean, like, you cannot get incompetent. Like, the level of incompetency with Call of Duty devs is just uh, off, the, it's off the charts, man, off the charts. And now you're telling me the Sledgehammer games <laughs> that made Van Garbage, admittedly, though, man, uh, Slushy was kind of right. Bruh. Yeah, man, say whatever, but, like, Slushy was kind of right. Van Garbage uh, is, is better than Modern Warfare 2. The amount of uh, content Van Garbage actually had in comparison to Modern Warfare 2 it's just night and day difference, guys. Like, at least Van Garbage tried to have 16 maps at launch. At least the devs were listening. At least they dropped some content. It wasn't dry as hell like Modern Warfare 2. But they are working on it, and you're telling me that they are gonna be having less than three years to work on Modern Warfare 3? I don't know about this one, guys. Previous rumors have suggested that the game will be a premium DLC for Modern Warfare 2. I'm going to jump in right here. That is what we heard previously. We were just going to be getting a massive expansion to Modern Warfare 2, where they're going to yep. be remastering Modern Warfare 2 2009's maps and then basically calling it a day. But apparently, not so much. It's going to be a lot different. So continuing on. Remastering it and calling it a day. It sounds like a bomb It's still been true at some point. Insider Gaming understands that the project changed direction to become a full premium standalone release planned for 2023. We Damn. did hear that from Activision just the other day that we are going to have a full premium Call of Duty release this year, yep. although we weren't sure exactly what it's going to be. Well, apparently it's going to be its own standalone game. As for the content of the title, details are scarce, but the game will be heavily connected to the Modern Warfare series. If recent Call of Duty titles are to go by, though, expect a lot of remasters
Adventure maps for multiplayer. If we continue on here. <laughs> Yo, cut the cap, cut the cap. Stop, stop, stop right there, man. You're telling me that we're gonna be having more remaster maps? Oh my God, oh my God, I'm shaking. I'm oh, shaking. shaking, I'm shaking. The games associated with the Modern Warfare series would suggest that this game could be called Modern Warfare 3, but Insider Gaming was unable to verify the game's Bruh. name at this time as it's not yet decided. One key detail about the game, though, is that according to Bloomberg's Jason Schreier, the game will be developed by Sledgehammer Games. This is a key detail that Insider Gaming was able to corroborate, but it's understood that this title is wow. a huge collaborative project across oh. all of Activision's Call of Duty studios, like most of their COD games these days. Insider Gaming has been able to verify that this year's title is scheduled to have two beta weeks, an early two. access campaign period, and a Kill me now, bro. Just kill me. <laughs> bro. Gotcha, hey, yo, what the f Two beta weeks. Two beta weeks. Bro, this year is still young. This year is still young. Have some mercy for the love of God's green earth, for everything that's green on this planet earth have some mercy on your community give us new content first in modern warfare 2 you said that this is going to be the most advanced most innovative three years three thousand deaths uh, we will, we will, we will. Uh, oh my god guys i'm shaking i'm shaking i'm shaking i'm, oh, shaking. I'm shaking full marketing strategy consistent with past premium releases in addition we were able to verify that the next entry will be released on past generation consoles as for the game's current key dates we were unable to confirm a reveal date for the title but we're able to pinpoint the key release dates currently penciled in for the title keep in mind these are subject to change so beta weekend one for ps4 and ps5 will be october what? 6th through october what? Yo, no way no way this is not happening this is not oh happening my God. beta weekend one sony pony 4 ps5 october 6th so playstation exclusivity we love that yep everybody everybody we love that uh, one more time let's do that one more time beta weekend 2 ps4 uh, ps5 xbox one series x <laughs> series s and pc october 12 16. campaign early access and uh, november the check in 2023 <laughs> stop 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 your activation okay pump the brakes i'll give you a tutorial right now Pump the brake, apply pressure, apply pressure, pump the brakes. October 10th, Beta Weekend 2, which is going to involve the Xbox and PC community as well, will be October 12th through October 16th. Campaign early access for PlayStation will be November Man. 2nd, and then the full release, and keep in mind this is all up in the air right now, but November 10th of 2023, as always, we'll keep you up to date with more COD 2023 news. <laughs> Thank you, Tom Henry. <laughs> Bro, We'll keep you up to date, bruh. Holy hell, guys. Talk about an absolute bruh. bombshell being dropped in the this COD community. Insane, it turns out Modern Warfare 2 is not going to be a two-year game, but yep, rather yep, Modern yep. Warfare 2 is going to be its own game up until November, call it October, November, quarter four of 2023, at which point Sledgehammer Games is going to be releasing their own game, which Damn. is going to be tied very closely to the Modern Warfare universe, but not be a Modern Warfare game itself. If you go pack very closely, it's basically going to be the same. Bumbaka. It's going to be the same. Bro. The original Modern Warfare 3 that was actually co-developed by Infinity Ward and Sledgehammer games and now we have a very similar situation happening again although as of right now we don't know if it's going to be called modern warfare 3 or modern warfare roman numeral let's be real they're they're gonna be calling it they're gonna be calling it modern warfare 3 they know like the name sells a, a lot but guys this is such a disgrace to the franchise to the community for the love of everything like for the love of the name for the love of the og like the modern warfare saga the modern warfare 1 2 3 masterpieces okay there are people that prefer modern warfare 3 i'm one of those guys okay i prefer modern warfare 3 over modern warfare 2 okay? oh, but, oh, but i know for the fact that both of these games even in fact even the cod 4 the original modern warfare game masterpiece okay modern warfare 1 2 3 it's a beloved franchise and the fact that you, they use the name again in 2022 a lot of people just bought it for that reason a lot of people were assured that this is going to be the year especially when they said that three years three thousand devs most advanced call of duty game ever like i don't understand what these fools 
fools are doing guys we're not talking about like a million dollar company and we're not talking indie I, I screamed my tits off i said that multiple times but guys what's true is true okay like they have they're making millions every single day it's a multi-billion dollar company they are not lacking resources guys like they're it, it would have been another thing if they didn't have the manpower it would have been another thing if they didn't have money coming in like a tsunami if they didn't have the cash flow it, it, it would have been another thing if sony was not trying to call them in fact like bobby colic recently came out so he said that uh, Sony is not picking up over their over our phone call. So they they actually said Bruh. that. But but let's be real. Sony value Call of Duty more, way more than Activision. Even hell, Microsoft values Call of Duty more than Activision. In my honest opinion, it should go to Microsoft or Sony. Like I know Microsoft has purchased, so it's likely gonna go to them. But Bruh. but that deal can get blocked. In fact, CMA already blocked the deal. I will link you that video and definitely check that out on the channel. But they're offering Activision three different options. It, it, to choose from they blocked it but they have not canceled it so it's up to microsoft to respond right now bro three or what is going to be going on with it they say it's gonna be tied close to modern warfare so therefore it's going to be set in the modern times therefore i would not expect it to be like vanguard 2 or anything like that or call of duty world war 2 2 okay it could have been worse at least thank god it's not vanguard 2 thank or advanced god, warfare yes, 2 or anything like that i mean could have been wow worse. i just like right now we don't have a ton of information <laughs> about the game besides it's going to be tied to the modern warfare universe Universe, but holy hell the fact that we were basically lied to with the idea of modern warfare 2 Black being Clark. a two-year title now it's just going to be a one-year title with like this other game that's gonna be tied to it like to, to compare this to other games and maybe this is like a bad comparison i guess but it's like it you know having borderlands Wrong. 2 and then having borderlands the pre-sequel come out like right after that which is basically what? a glorified dlc to borderlands 2 essentially that's basically what it was if you guys played that you know we may have a similar situation happening here with the Call of Duty franchise, but then in 2024, one year after you know this new Black Sledgehammer Ops game 2. is going to be coming out, we're going to have Treyarch what? releasing what is rumored to be Black Ops 5. <laughs> wow, man, they just they uh, aka Black Ops 2 remake, ladies and gentlemen, check this video out because the CMA actually book a kill, they blocked the deal for Microsoft, but they are offering them three different options. Or click the video on the left because Dr. Disrespect Friend went bozo at Activision and they just exposed them. These are the videos they do not want they don't want you seeing these videos guys check these videos out and i will see you right there